How's it going, everybody? My name is Weekly Shonen, and this is the part where I would say we have another Platinum N reaction review, but um, unfortunately, it wasn't too much to react to this week. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there were a couple of really uh, lively moments, I would say. Why are you working out naked, bro? But just not a lot of, um, it's not a lot of footage to really cut down. Like, I'm, I'm looking at here like four minutes, of, and I haven't really you know, gone into to getting rid of dead space yet. So I'll just give some of my thoughts of what I thought about this episode or my thoughts on this episode. Sorry, I haven't done an actual review on an episode in so long. So I guess I'm just rusty. That's my excuse for not preparing a script. So yeah, just a couple of things. We got two dead bodies lying around now. Uh, we got Hajime and Mukaido. Mukaido is just getting more annoying by the second, I think. 99% shut the fuck up. Don't appreciate him just switching to full on. Let's kill this man. You know he's always been that way, but he hasn't been annoying. And now it just seems like anytime he chimes in, and now even a little bit of Saki now, like like towards the end of the episode, it's just like they're like the peanut gallery. I don't appreciate anything that they have to add to the conversation. I don't feel like they're actually adding anything to the conversation. Um, and you know I just want this duel to be over. It's it's kind of uh, it's good. It pulled me back in. Like I'll, I'll admit that. Like. Getting Kanade's backstory and just realizing how sick, <laughs> not, I, I guess not sick, but creepy, how obsessed he was with his sister and maintaining that um, sibling relationship. I'm a refrain from, from diving too much into the psychology behind that, but um, I think that kind of pulled me back in because, yeah, the season break episode was just really a letdown and I was close to dropping. Well, not really, because, you know, I'll at least see the season through, but, you know, I was not really excited to see the next episode, and now I am. Now I'm like, well, you know, this duel is taking a little bit long, but it was padded out by a good backstory, or a revealing backstory. Oh, so bad! That's so bad! There's no way to bring him back. This guy sucks. So you want to create a world with just wealthy people, but you still want slavery. All right, and it doesn't feel like uh, you know we're stalling. Although it does, it's kind of weird that <laughs> uh, a fight that is taking place at a standoff and it's just you shoot, I shoot, you shoot, I shoot is a uh, able to take as much as it did. <laughs> and it seems like it's almost over, which is cool. I'm appreciative of that. I want to see what happens next because we do have 12 more episodes to go, and I don't know. How Canada is gonna? How anyone of these two are gonna escape the situation? And I won't go too crazy trying to predict it, but um, yeah, it was good to see. I, I really did appreciate this episode. Um, I'm not gonna be watching this one anytime soon. I don't think I need to dive into the psychology behind this uh, sibling bond that Canada was trying to preserve. But at least hey, we got a a, a confirmation on on how or a reveal on how he was approached by Meza. We now understand. You know, she's filling his head with sweet nuttons. And, you know, maybe there is a way to turn his sister into an angel. And that's the reason why he's preserving her body. But I'm pretty sure, like, angels... Could, would he really need to preserve her body for that? Because we saw Hajime come out as his original self. So, you know, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Maybe that'll be explained. Or maybe it'll just be revealed later on that that was not necessary. Or... Mason never <laughs> told him at all that he needed to preserve her body and that's just his own sick thing to do um, because he was already doing it before she popped up. So yeah, Kanade, big old, big old disgusting bag of shit and, you know, I'm, I'm fine with seeing him die. That little boy, though, can eat a whole bag of dicks. Take off your fucking mask already. You're by yourself. There's no reason for whatever, kid. We do not condone child violence. We just hate annoying characters on this site, on this channel, sorry. But yeah, pretty good, pull me back in. Nothing spectacular, um, but just necessary, I would say. I uh, hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next Friday, and yeah, be safe.